Hey guys, it's Postbox Pat. Welcome back to a brand new news video. And in today's video, we're going over everything which is going on inside of Fortnite. We actually got a brand new update today, which fixed a lot of bugs. There are still a few odd few bugs going around there and then. But you know what? It's quite fun and I'm really enjoying the current season. Actually playing BR from time to time when I do get time to actually play it. So, what is new in this update? Well, the first thing that did get added in today's update was the burst did return. So we got the burst assault rifle. I didn't notice this yesterday. It's obviously got added in at a later date. This isn't exactly new. It's just like unvaulting an old weapon. But the classic burst, or not the OG burst, I guess the second burst that released, we finally got, which was pretty cool. So I'm kind of happy about that. And, you know, seeing that actually release and become an item again back inside of Fortnite is just pretty awesome. So hopefully we do expect more OG style items to return and maybe one day the classic burst but it's not in creative so I don't know if it'll ever return to the actual BR itself but we'll have to wait and see who actually knows if it will or not but one thing I do want to mention as well is when I are collaborating with this NFT brand which people are referring to it as however it doesn't look like it is this is a brand called Black Paris I think that's what it's meant to say I'm not too sure I may be wrong it may be Black I don't how do you even pronounce that Black uh, Bilibug, maybe Paris. I don't know. It, I don't know if that's how it's meant to be pronounced or if it's black. I'm not too sure. But by going on their website and having a look at the brand, it does look like it was originally created in 2017. So it does actually have it kind of like a long lifespan before NFTs were really a proper thing. I know NFTs were around in 2017, but they weren't major. So I'm assuming this isn't an NFT brand. It is a fashion brand according to their about section. So they are doing a collab with Fortnite. Here's a little preview of some of the items. Kind of weird. Their main theme is all black though. So everything they do is just generally all black overall. So I think that's just the style they go for. They just go for kind of like a black monotone theme, which is kind of cool. So hopefully we do see some Fortnite skins related to this brand maybe. I think that would be pretty cool in game. A few fashion brands have had that as well. The Ralph Lauren collab as well. So hopefully we do see something like that with this collab. Now, so let me move on to the next topic where we talk about the Grim Medicine set you can see here. This is back in the item shot, and these haven't returned for over 1,000 days. We assume these were removed from the item shot and possibly banned from the item shop due to the coronavirus pandemic, which did take place, as we know. But we do know that these skins themselves are now back in the item shop. So that's kind of cool. If you are interested in them, you can pick them up if you want them. They're pretty good, but like I always say, only buy stuff you like. Don't buy it because it's rare. You didn't buy it the first time unless you didn't play Fortnite at that time. If you did play Fortnite and you've seen it in the shop and had the option to buy it in the past, then maybe don't buy it. Now, I did purchase it this time. I purchased the female one for the bat bling for the gameplay you can see in the background because I love the bat bling with this skeleton skin. But overall, I would say, you know, if you like it buy it if you don't or you're just buying it because it's rare personally i wouldn't buy it because it's rare because it probably will see a few multiple returns now and it's not not going to come back it will come back now quite not often but about in daily rotation and stuff so it's back now that leads on to the next topic talking about the uh, two skins you can see on screen right now the two styles for this skin and also the fresh emote will these make a return at some point now these are two banned cosmetics and possibly the only cosmetics that have not yet return to Fortnite. It's been a long time since we've actually seen these and we probably won't see them ever again possibly. But you know, there was a little bit of an error earlier on in December where some of like the tidy emotes and loads of like rare emotes randomly came back. I know a lot of you guys or some of you weren't too happy about that and if you are, are a rare collector then obviously them returning randomly is not good. But they were only in the shop for an hour which was kind of weird because a lot of people purchased it and if you purchased it you got to keep it. So I didn't really like the fact that they'd bring them back accidentally allow you to purchase it if you're there and the item shop but then take it away now it's clear that this was done probably on purpose i wouldn't see fortnite just doing this accidentally it's kind of a weird one to fake if you know what i mean bringing back like an og skin just randomly because it's for like a fake reasons a bit strange in my opinion but you never know, Fortnite might have done this accidentally, they might have not, I don't know. What do you guys think on that? But will they do it for these two? I generally think with the way the current item shop's going and rare skins returning, and because of how well they sell because of the rare thing, even though it's no longer rare and it's returned, but that kind of vibe, I guess, is what causes these skins to sell so well. Obviously, that means that these will probably see an accidental return or maybe even an official return. Now, I do know that there are different reasons why both of these have been banned, which we're not going to mention here on the channel. Copyright issues and other reasons as well. 
I don't know 100% if that's why they've been banned or not. I can see maybe why, but I know there's a lot of fans of these two items. I don't know if the story is true or not. So only time will tell if the story is actually true or not with these and if they do return. And we'll have to wait and see. I'm quite excited to see if they do return or not. Because it's cool just to have, I guess. If you want the, like, the skin and you missed it. You know, sometimes you start to really like rare skins. Even if they are rare, you might actually just like the skin not because it's rare. Which can happen, but... Like I say, only buy stuff if you do like it always, guys. That's the best thing to do if you are buying something inside of Fortnite. Now, the next topic I want to talk about is the Glider Redeploy Augment perk has been removed. So uh, that has been vaulted due to some issues. We do expect that to make a return at some point in the future. But no time soon. I assume it will probably make a return in the next update. But it looks like Fortnite do have the ability to enable and disable these fairly quickly. Next topic I want to mention for you guys is a 50-50 gun game LTM which I've been building. Now we may do a live stream on this soon when it does finish being built. I don't know if I'm going to release it publicly. It might just be a live stream release. Probably not going to be like a release with a code. It's more of just an experimental mat as always. And if you guys want to play or get involved with this, make sure you got your notifications turned on as always. And don't forget to keep code post in your item shop if you're buying anything. Hashtag Epic Games Partner. Now, the next thing I do want to mention is something which is a really interesting topic which I kind of want to discuss for a minute or so. And this is this competitive topic here. So Fortnite have officially changed competitive possibly forever and you can see here on screen we've identified and fixed an issue allowing players to compete in multiple regions during a single tournament for clarity players may only participate in one region per event this season and that's just this season by the looks of it they've announced this for in the past players would compete in multiple tournaments especially pros and win cash prizes in multiple tournaments there's numerous times where an na east player may compete in na west and eu and come in the top like 100 or something and win prize pools especially in the earlier days of fortnite in the early chapters and this is especially good for I guess good for sharing prize pools, but not good for people that like competing in free cups. There's a lot of free cups out there that like bragging right cups or cosmetic cups sometimes when they announce them, not very often. No unique ones really anymore. We're looking back about two years now for the last unique cosmetic cup other than the Mr. Beast tournament, which is a creative mode, not a DR mode, excluding that. But last time there was a unique cup, I don't want to go on that rant. I always rant about it, was the laser beam one. So I guess to me, it doesn't really affect me this. It doesn't really bother me at all. But, you know, if you're someone that competes in the casual cups and you like them or the casual skin cups to unlock maybe a wrap or a spray, then you're only going to be able to compete in it in one region, which, to be honest, doesn't really matter too much. Anyway, you can just compete in normal competitive because that tournament is just normal competitive. But this really would affect me if there was like a Gref G Cup again because I practiced in the Asia region because that was first and the Australia region. And then I made a video on how to win the cup and then I went ahead and won the cup. Like, not winning first, but, you know, top 1,000, got the skin, got the cosmetics in the Gref G Cup. I absolutely loved it. It was my favorite one. And I wish... To be honest, when I would do more stuff like that, you really do get a taste for how fun competitive is. For me, that's when I really felt like I enjoyed BR the most. That was the last time I'd sit on for hours and hours enjoying like BR at its peak. Like it felt like chapter one again. So I think them unique cups are really cool. I think that's just because I remember playing in, I played in the NA East, I played in the Asia one, did bad because of the ping. Played in the EU one, did really well, and then went on NA East and also becoming the, I got, I got the emote again, but obviously you can't get it again because I already had it. But you can compete in multiple regions. I did really well. I was really enjoying the cup, just absolutely wrecking people using balloons and just spamming grenades on the Gref G one. That was my favorite one out of all of them. And I hope one day they do bring that LTM back or maybe even another tournament with a skin in it or a new Gref G skin with it. I don't know. Just do something cool. It was a really cool tournament. And why... This sort of stuff's really cool because what it does, it allows players, not pros, but allows us as players to kind of get used to something new and, and the pros can't get used to it that quick. It takes them time to adapt unless they're like top tier pro. The average pro or competitive player takes time to adapt. They have to learn and they can't learn that quickly, which gives us casuals a higher chance in these more casual cups. So I hope they do them more in the future. But to be honest, the hope's gone. It's been over two years now and they haven't really done one. So or just under two years, but they're probably never going to do one since Chapter 2. So, yeah, never happening. Probably won't. Don't get your hopes up, sadly. The Mr. Beast one, I guess, was unique, but it was creative. 
it wasn't BR. I want to see him in BR. But I do like the creative. I did like the Mr. Beast one, to be honest. It was pretty awesome. All right, so that's that topic over with the rant. Again, if you're a competitive player, you probably don't even watch the videos, I'm going to be honest. Most competitive people... I don't think I know any competitive players that watches the videos. It's all just me, like me, casuals, like you guys. So thank you so much if you are a casual player tuning in. When I say competitive player, I mean someone that's actually winning prize pools, not a just normal competitive player. Obviously, you could play competitive and still class yourself as a competitive player. But if you're not winning prize pools... I wouldn't really class it as a competitive player unless you're actually like winning or coming at least close to winning some sort of prize. But yeah, that's that little rant over there for you guys. But yeah, that's it for today's video. I hope you guys have enjoyed. I have been getting back into these news videos. If there is news content, like always, I will post it. If there isn't, I won't. Simple as. I'll see you guys soon. This is Postbox Pat, signing out.